Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a news roundup video. Just kidding, we are focusing on only one topic today. I did record a news video that I originally wanted to put out, um, last night, and then I was gonna put it out today, um, but as you can tell, that didn't happen, so here we are, uh, talking about the Game Theory charity livestream, because surprisingly we have a lot of info on it. It's only a week away, so I think now is the best time to talk about what we can expect during the stream. There's gonna be a lot of people there, but I wanna clarify, uh, I'm only gonna be talking about the FNAF segment, really, because that's what my main audience wants to know about. I will still be posting the FNAF news video, hopefully tomorrow. We're gonna be talking about Sanchi coming back, we got some news on Pop Goes Evergreen, merchandise, U2s, a lot of amazing news, so I highly suggest subscribing so you do not miss it. So, let's hop into the live stream, right? Game Theory is one million dollar St. Jude livestream happening on December 1st. Honestly, before I get into it, I just want to say how excited I am for this. This is going to be absolutely groundbreaking. A million smackaroonies for kids with cancer. That is absolutely incredible, and I wish Matt and everyone else the best of luck. So, again, I'm only going to be talking about FNAF, really, because that's just what you guys want to know about. So, on November the 14th, we got our first little glimpse of what this segment is going to be about, and I'll play that clip right now. Oh yeah, and I should probably also mention the new FNAF project that I'm working on with Scott that allows you at home to play against some of the kings of FNAF that you watch on YouTube each and every week. So will these kings of FNAF be able to beat the game when you are trying to actively sabotage them? <laughs> We're gonna have to find out. So in that clip, MatPad confirms that he has been working with Scott on a brand new FNAF game, and we at home are going to be able to impact Docco and DJ stuff as they play the game on the stream. How exactly that's going to work is still kind of up in the air, but as we are going to find out later on, I have some theories, and we also have some concrete evidence of what the game is and how it's gonna play. And while scrolling back on Docco's, um, Twitter page to see if he's said anything about this charity stream, he replied to someone on November 20th saying, So, Ultimate Custom Night revisited? No, you already did that with mobile, no need to suffer any more than that. And Docker replied with, I have a very good reason to. Now I know, if you haven't seen the title and thumbnail, which the odds of that are incredibly low if you're watching this video, but you're gonna find out why that is important very, very soon. And also, in a recent update video, which I will leave the full video linked down below if you want to go check it out, I highly recommend it. DJ Storff confirmed that he has been working on some promo videos for the game slash stream. I'm not sure exactly what he means by that, but I guess we're gonna find out very soon. So I'm gonna quit dancing around it, right? Finally, I'm gonna talk about the big video that MadPat posted today, which is basically a whole summary of what we can expect on the stream. And during the FNAF segment, he says this. There's even you playing live against the kings of FNAF in a brand new ultimate custom night experience. Us playing live against the kings of FNAF in a brand new ultimate custom night experience. U UCN2, anybody? UCN2? So, something very interesting to note is that Markiplier is now included in the list of kings of FNAF to, to play this UCN game. Originally, it was just Darko and DJ Storff, but it appears that Mark is also taking on the challenge. So, that's three kings we gotta take down. Both Darko and DJ Storff have confirmed that they are going to be remotely tuning into the stream. They will not be appearing physically in person on the live stream, which is completely fine. You know, it is their decision. As for Mark, I'm not entirely sure. As far as I'm aware, there's been no confirmation of whether or not he'll be in person or if he's going to be tuning in remotely. This is just me speculating, but since Darko and DJ Storff, you know, the two other competitors, are remotely tuning in, I feel like it would just make sense if Mark also remotely tuned in, but again, that's not confirmed. So Darko put out a tweet um, earlier today saying, So, if you haven't seen the news, I will be revisiting Ultimate Custom Night on MatPat's amazing charity stream on December 1st. You can donate to change what happens while I play, so please help me out rather than making me suffer. A few days ago, DJ Storff made a tweet saying, Hey all, I've been working on some goals slash footage that I suggest would be super impressive for the St. Jude charity stream put on by MadPat on December 1st. I had a stretch goal that I didn't think I could hit by the stream, but I was wrong, lol, I hope you will all like it. So, that's going back to all the promos that he's working on for the stream, which again, I'm not sure what he's talking about here. Um, I don't know if he's been working with Scott and Matt on the game, getting some gameplay footage to, um, hype up people. I'm not sure. I also don't know if Matt, um, 
I mean, sorry, not Matt. If Scott will put out a trailer for this game like he did with Freddy in Space 2 last year, I don't know. So, let's, <laughs> let's take a break and let's collect our thoughts. So, this brand new game is a multiplayer-ish Ultimate Custom Night game where we, the audience, the viewers at home, can sabotage or help the three kings of FNAF. I don't know if Matt's playing. I just realized that. Is Matt gonna be playing? I'm not sure. So, it seems like it's going to be kind of like a Jackbox Party Pack-ish game. I do not think we are going to be the characters like FNAF multiplayer. I feel like we can spend money to send out animatronics, you know, make Nightmare Bonnie appear or make, um, Golden Freddy appear. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's just straight up Ultimate Custom Night or if it's been changed slight, slightly to include brand new characters that were not in the original UCN, or if there were like new mechanics or anything, I, I just don't know. Based off of Darko's tweet saying revisiting Ultimate Custom Night, I feel like it's just going to be an updated version of the game for this stream in particular, so we can, again, send out animatronics, send out sabotages, maybe we like drain their battery by a certain percent, or um, rise their temperature, I don't know. There's a lot to theorize about, because it's grief theory. Um, so I just, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see, but I feel like we have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like. Again, I don't think we will be the animatronics, like FNAF multiplayer, because there's only like, like 58 characters in the original UCN at least. So having thousands, potentially millions of people watching the stream, and only less than a hundred of them can be in the game. That just seems very unfair. I have some information from St. Jude themselves on their official site. Again, every source will be linked down below, especially the donate page. That is gonna be the top link and also the pinned comment. They are trying to raise a million dollars and that is a huge and very ambitious goal, but I truly think that they can do it. So again, if you have the money, if you are able to donate, please go donate. It appears that the event will start at 10 a.m. PST and will run until 7 p.m. PST. This is the schedule. Oh boy, it is a lot. You got 10 a.m. That's the introduction and that will take about 30 minutes. At 10.30, they are going to do a Nailed It decoration challenge. There's also some descriptions. I won't be reading them, but you can, you know, feel free to pause the video and go through them. It lists a brief summary of what's going on, as well as all the people involved in that, um, event. 11.30, you got the Pictionary Challenge. 12.40 p.m., you have the 900 IQ Among Us game. 1.45 p.m., the Will It Taste Test. 2.50 p.m., the Five Nights at Freddy's segment. Now, I do want to pause on this one because we're talking about FNAF here. It says, FNAF has never been played like this. Your donations during this hour can directly influence the game, making it easier or much, much harder, featuring Darko, DJ, DJ Stoff, and Markiplier. So again, that's alluding to the fact that our donations, uh, however much we donate, um, will affect the game directly. We can make it easier for those dudes, or we can make it much harder and make their life a living hell. I don't know if it's a, um, the more you donate, the more the game will be changed type of thing, or if it's just... Well, I feel like it, it would probably be something like that, you know? I'm not entirely sure. So, at 4.15, you have the Let's Make a Deal event. 6 p.m. is the grand finale. And then 6.45 is the thank you. And then it ends at 7. So that is, as far as I'm aware, all of the information on the FNAF segment and the entire schedule for December 1st. I'm very excited. Again, I really hope that they get to their goal, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. I can't wait to tune in. So again, if you can, if you are able to donate, please go down below, go make a donation. Even like $1 helps. So yeah, that's it. And I'll see you all on December 1st and tomorrow with the news video. All right, see ya. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>